I do want to point out a feature that you might not be aware of. It is a portfolio feature. So I'm going to go ahead and go over here to my name and click that drop down arrow. I'm going to go ahead and go into my profile. And then way over here at the left, you see a link to get to portfolios. Now portfolios are pretty neat. It's a place that you can put your work, you can put pictures, you could add some really cool videos or presentations that you've created this year. And you could do that overall for the whole school year. You could create a portfolio for each subject. You might have an art portfolio that shows all the different art pieces that you've made. That would be neat to see all the projects over the years. So your teacher might assign you a portfolio to create where you're showcasing your best work and then later reflecting on it. So a lot of people don't know about that portfolio feature. It's pretty neat. You can use it on your own or as instructed by a teacher. So I'm going to show you how to create a portfolio and how to add things to it from your Google Drive or from within Schoology assignments. So I'm going to go ahead and click the plus sign, create portfolio. And this is going to be an art portfolio. You can name it what you want. You can give it a description. And so I might say these are um, art projects that I've created while I was a student in Oregon, whatever you'd like to do. I'm going to go ahead over here and notice I can add something from an assignment submission. I can add a file, a link, or a page. And so first of all, I'm going to show you how I'm going to add a file. So I'm going to go over here and click a file because I do have some artwork that I actually just really did saved into my Google Drive. So I'm going to go ahead and choose that particular photo and I'll go ahead and say open. It is uploading right now and I'm going to be able to give it a little bit of commentary. Maybe I'm going to say what my inspiration was for that piece or I could also say what technique I was using. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do that with this piece. I'll explain that it was done using um, a technique that is pouring acrylics, acrylic paints that are mixed in a certain way. And that's what I did, partly what I did to create this piece. Right now that it's uploaded, it says click on the content card to see the item. I can go ahead and click on it. And you're gonna get these little pop-ups that come up all the time um, the first time you use it, trying to kind of guide you through. And so I'm going to change this, and this one was my orange. And I could come down here and say when I made it, where I made it, again, what my inspiration was, whatever, what I want to do with it when I'm done. But this is... Uh, that's my artwork. Notice it comes in nice and large in Schoology, so that's really nice. When I'm finished, I can come back right over here, and I want to show you how I can add another piece from a Schoology assignment. So I'm going to go back into one of my courses, and this is, this is my art class, and I have a site, an assignment that I had to do an acrylic project and I have to upload it as an assignment. So I'm going to go ahead and click there. I am uh, have read the assignment. I'm going to come over here to say submit assignment. I'm going to upload a file. And I'm going to get the blue project that I also just got done with actually. And I'm going to go ahead and open that. Now I'm actually submitting that through Schoology. Now that it is all the way uploaded, I can go ahead and submit. After I've submitted this assignment, I can click this button right here and submit it to a portfolio. So I can add it this way, which I'm going to do. Or if maybe I didn't think I wanted to add it at the time I submitted it, 
or shortly after, maybe I want to, to add it later, I can come over to Portfolios I could open up my great works of art and I could add it here. I could go into sub assignment submission from this point. I could say, well, what class was that from? That was some art history. And th this would give me a list of all my assignments. And this would be the one I would want. And then I could go ahead and add it from there. And right down here, Add submission. The last thing I want to show you is that you can come over here and edit your portfolio image and I think I would want to put something in there. I could go ahead and upload something that I already have downloaded. Some kind of really neat art image that would be the image for my entire portfolio. So I hope you take some time and think about how you might create a portfolio to collect some of your work, whether it be artwork or writing, perhaps it's some interesting presentations that you create. I'll bet you'll end up creating a lot of neat things over your years in Oregon, and this would be a really great place to keep them and look back and reflect and, and see how you've grown as a student. Teachers, if you do have time available, now would be a really great opportunity to help the students set up their first portfolio inside of their Schoology account.